welcome back to MacBreak Studio. I'm Mark, I'm with Steve. We're here in the new uh, studio here in San Rafael and uh, breaking it in. <laughs> and Steve's talking Final Cut Pro 10 today and specifically a pretty cool audio tip. Right, a lot of times you want to add a reverb effect to a sound clip and the way Final Cut Pro's uh, clips construct is it a lot of times cuts the effect off at a certain point. You need to learn how to extend the tail so it has a, more, a ring out. Uh, so you can have that reverb keep going after right. the end of a clip. Mm -hmm. All right, well let's see how to do it. Absolutely. Okay, so little setup here. I did this uh, short film a couple of years ago of this, this girl here and she, uh, she's <laughs> being tortured by this uh, Christmas loving cupcake freak girl here. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so she's freaking out here and uh, I'll just, uh, so I'll just play a little bit of this here. So she, she screams here and then you have these series of whimpers that you can see here in the waveform right. now. Here's an example where I, I don't want the waveform here, but uh, excuse me, the reverb effect here, I prefer the, the reverb to sit on these. Um, the whimpers. The whimpers, because I need, I want to have this nice like isolated feel that just where this, where it goes into the blackness of her soul. That you still hear yes. this reverb of the whimpers going on. Okay, <laughs> exactly. great, that makes sense. So now, so I'm thinking, all right, well, how do I split this clip? Because this is part of, this This clip is an extended part of this clip here, as you can see in the pr primary storyline. Okay, line. yeah, so you have it expanded, but it's part of a- Yeah, so I hit control option S, you can see that the clip itself is small, yes. but that you don't see that the, the audio extends under the other yes. part, part. So how do I deal with pu putting a reverb just on this? Because Final Cut Pro 10 won't allow you to put on effect, let's say make a selection range on the component. You have to mm -hmm. put it on the entire. It'll only be applied to the entire clip. That's right. So I want to look at how to, how to deal with that. Okay. One way to deal with that is uh, control click or right click and you can choose uh, detach audio, control shift S. Okay, completely uh, br separate break it the audio. Break it and I'm mm -hmm. not a huge fan, you, I could do that. I'm not a huge fan of that. Because, because you could end up being out of sync. You could be out of sync or what mm -hmm. have you. So um, I'm going to look at doing this a slightly different way. So you so, just did undo. That's right. So mm -hmm. Control Option S to expand the components. And what I do is I'm only interested in these this whimpery section, right? So I'm going to go ahead and grab just the range. Well, the range. I'm already in range selection mode by nature of the fact that I'm in the component. Editor, yeah, that right? does it for you automatically. Right. Uh -huh. So I, I'm going to press Command C to copy and then move the playhead where I want that effect to be pasted, mm -hmm. right? And I'm gonna press option V, which is a, which is a paste at. Pa paste as connected paste clip. Paste as connected clip, option V, right? So there it's pasted down here toward the bottom, same clip. So I really don't need, need this section. Portion. So I can oh, just I can like trim just, it back. So I could just trim it back. So you can see here, I got the scream and then I have the, the whimper section here, All right? So what I wanna do is apply a reverb effect just to that little, that little piece there. So I'm gonna press command five to open up the effects browser, I'm going to, down here I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in reverb. Okay, so there's the matrix reverb. Got it. And I'm just going to go ahead and throw that right on the component here. And what you'll, I'm going to go ahead and play this so you can see what I'm talking about, about the tail of the reverb stopping right at the end okay. of the clip. So I'm going to go ahead and play that. It doesn't have that ring out. It doesn't keep, doesn't doesn't, keep going. It doesn't keep yeah. going. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. And what I'm gonna do is, and by the way, I learned this tip, uh, this isn't my tip, this is from Thomas Grove Carter, who's this uh, editor, works at this company in London called Trim. Really awesome uh, content he's done. If you check him, check him out um, online, uh, some of this. Thomas Grove Carter. Thomas Grove Carter. Okay. So this is his trick. Mm -hmm. And so Thomas, uh, odes to you, because this is fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is move the playhead to, I'm gonna hit Shift O to go to the end, and I'm gonna add a hold frame by pressing Shift Shift H. H. A hold frame on audio. On audio, right. Actually, let me uh, select maybe the container, Shift H. So what I've done is I've added a hold frame, which I didn't know. I've never <laughs> thought do. about doing a hold frame auto on audio. That's right, really so interesting. Right, so now you have, a, yeah, so you, it's a holding there and there's nothing there. Uh -huh. So now when I grab this effect, and I apply it, it's or either to the component or or to the, the, the container. Uh -huh. Right. It's applying it to the container. It's, it's, so now I'm going to have the You're including that including extra that extra piece material there. for the ring out. So let's go ahead and play this. <laughs> Let me add just so we can hear it better because it's she's whimpering out pretty bad at the end. So let's go ahead and kind of do that there. 
And it just rings out. It's, uh, and you continue you to can hear continue, it afterwards. You can kind of hear, hear it afterwards. Very cool. So that's basically it, how to extend a reverb using a essentially a whole frame. Nice, so copying, instead of detaching all the audio and risking sync issues, you just took that one section and using whole frame on audio. Yeah. Really cool, nice, nice. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Thomas, for that. That was awesome. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, thank you for watching us here on MacBreak Studio. RippleTraining.com, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff is where to find us if you like this stuff and you're trying to learn Phonica Pro, Motion, Resolve, uh, many other apps and things, just check us out. We've got a lot of information and a lot of new stuff coming down the pike here. So thanks again for watching us here on MacBreak Studio.